Only 20% of the South African population says it trusts President Cyril Ramaphosa's government. This is according to the Edelman Trust Barometer 2020. South Africa is one of 15 nations in which the majority of the population don't trust government. Distrust has been driven by a growing sense of inequality and unfairness in the system. Trevon Gwani, president of the South African Sociological Association, is in the studio to help us understand this survey more. Very good morning to you. Good what do we take from this survey other than the fact that there is so much mistrust still? Well, the survey is conducted by uh, what I can say a pro-business uh, research institution. So it does research on behalf of big business and it presents its findings at the World Economic Forum. So basically uh, the researchers are worried about the lack of trust in government, in business and even in the media with NGOs, non-governmental organizations, the only ones who enjoy some trust among populations, not only in South Africa, but throughout the world. But we do pretty badly, basically at rock bottom. I mean, this is not a, a message that we want to deliver at the World Economic Forum, is it? I mean, when they're already struggling to find some sort of confidence in this country. Mm. Yeah, well, it's terrible that we, out of 26 countries, we are the bottom four. In fact, the only ones worse than us are Russia, I think Japan and the UK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, what stood out for me, though, was that where there is confidence is in the economic outlook by South Africans, which seems extraordinary, mm -hmm. and in the business sector. Why? Well, uh, well it's a survey, but uh, the trend I saw, for example, Kenya has, you know, a lot of confidence. China, Indonesia, the emerging economies, these are economies which many of them were former colonies, they are part of the underdeveloped, developing world, which are now doing better. So it means these are economies which had a very small middle class, maybe that middle class is increasing, as we know in South Africa, we have a rising black middle class, so there is a sense of change. Whereas uh, established economies like uh, Britain, the USA, uh, Japan, people have less hope of the economy going up. As you know, the USA growth is slow, whereas China growth is still fast. So. Those are the dynamics. It's because of the inequality in the economic uh, trend in different countries. Pretty disturbing, especially in this country, is the lack of trust in the media. It's down to 40, 41 percent. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going on there? And we're not alone, again, in that area. Well, I was a bit surprised myself because from, from my assessment, the media in South Africa has been doing quite well. But uh, remember that the, the survey distinguishes between um, what I can call the elite, that is people with money, uh, with uh, university degrees, and then the masses. So there's a dynamic whereby maybe ordinary people, you know, are not exposed a lot to media. It could be that political leaders speak badly of the media. Yes, I was going to say they certainly yes. push the, the mistrust there, don't yes. they? Yes, and then globally there's the problem of fake news. So even ordinary people now rely more on you know, social media for news rather than the official. Yeah. But I think South Africa, from my opinion, is doing well. If you go to the USA, you get uh, whole TV stations which are completely, totally biased. Fox. <laughs> Fox News. <laughs> yeah. Donald Trump's favorite, Trevor Nguyen. Thank you very much for talking to us.